Hi everyone. So in this series of video lectures, we will be seeing the basics of programming in C. Okay. And uh, we will be covering more in a programmatic way, such that we will be discussing more of programs and how to develop the logic for writing a program. I have seen that many of them struggle to develop the logic. So we will see how we can develop a logic. So before going into that, we will see the basics of programming. See, we are using programming languages to solve some problems. So we will see some real world problems and we can see how we are going to find solutions for that. See, uh, I have seen an interview of Sachin Tendulkar and he has been asked his secret of success. So what he told was, he stick to the basics, he play the ball according to the merit and before all that, you have to put in a lot of hard work. So the secret was hard work, sticking to basics and play according to merit of that ball. Okay. So basically he has done a sequence of steps. So for solving that problem he was using a sequence of steps. So if we are going to solve some problems in C, similarly there should be some mechanism such that we can address sequence of steps. Okay, that is one thing. And we will see another real life problem. See suppose uh, I am going to book a ticket in IRCTC. Okay. Suppose if you are booking for a senior citizen, you are having a discount in the rate. Okay, which means according to the age, there will be difference. If you are a senior citizen, your rate will be one. And if you are not a senior citizen, the rate will be different. Okay, so based on a condition, based on a condition, the action could change. Okay, so there should be some mechanism to address or we have to do programming based on a condition. Okay. Now we'll see another real life scenario. Say like, suppose you are doing a treasure hunt. Okay, from first place you are getting another clue, and from that place you will get a third clue, and you will move on until you reach the treasure. Okay, so you are going for or you are searching for some clues, and how long you are going to search for that clues until you reach the treasure, which means until you are reaching some condition you are going to repeat the process again and again which means there is a repetition or it is also called as an iteration okay so these are the three things which we use in any programming language for solving problems one is sequential statements there will be conditional statements and there will be iterative statements okay in C language if you are writing three statements the order of execution will be the first line will be executed first, the second line will be executed second, and third will be executed third. So already there is a sequence. So it works in a sequential manner. And suppose if you have to go for condition, C provides if statement and switch statement for those conditional statements. And there are some scenarios as we have seen where we require iteration or we need repetition. For that, in C, you are having three mechanisms. One is for, for loop, another one is while loop, and third one is do while loop, where we will be focusing more on for, for and while. Okay. 